Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. There is some really big breaking news coming from South Block and I'm pretty sure after hearing this you all will be pretty excited too. Today the Defense Acquisition Council conferred acceptance of necessity to capital acquisition proposals of Army, Navy and Air Force valuing rupees 13165 crores of which 87% will be made in India which is undoubtedly big boost for indigenous defense program now out of this huge sum the dac has accorded the approval for the procurement of 25 alh mk3 helicopters from hl under by india at an approximate cost of rupees 3850 crores apart from this rupees 4962 crore has been accorded for the procurement of terminally guided munition tgm and hepf rhe rocket ammunition under by india category giving a boost to indigenous design and development of ammunitions almost a month back we have reported that army is looking to upgrade its much needed aviation squadron with 25 alh dhruv mk3 helicopters which seems to be have fortified now as we all know that the recent tension at lse the mobilization of troops has increased in the tough terrains of ladakh the aging fleets of chetak and cheeta is limiting the indian army's operational capabilities the new orders of hls lh mk3 will greatly boost the indian army's operational capability and readiness a total of 56 mk1 and 20 mk2 is already being operated by our indian armed forces hl through mk2 is similar to mk1 except for the new hl iai class cockpit hl and indian navy has already signed a contract to deliver 16 lh mk3 and now indian army will procure 25 lh mk3 helicopters the hl's alh is a world class helicopter in 5.5 ton category it is an all weather multi role multi mission state of art helicopter it comes with excellent maneuverability user friendly control low vibration and noise level and high speed efficient lift which makes it superior among the contemporary helicopters alh has logged close to 3 million cumulative flight hours and has proven its merit in versatile operations talking about alh mk3 it comes up with an improved shakti 1h engines new electronic warfare suite and warning systems automatic chaff and flare dispensers and improved vibration control system the new shakti warage engines has improved the high altitude performance and the helicopter can operate at an altitude over 6 km at ease it can host 14 fully equipped troops dgca has even praised its crash worthy design as few accidents have not caused any fatalities this was today's update please let us know what is your views about these in comment section feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us with this i would like to say goodbye and jai hind friends please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already we'll be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector